Hi guys, Dom Ngoz here, and this is a new router from Buffalo. Now this one is special for a few reasons. First, this is actually a second unit. The first unit right here, it died on me a few months ago when I was testing it. Turned out there was a bug that put it into an infinite boot loop. Now the bug is fixed, so all is good. The second reason why it's special is because it has such a long name. It's so long that even I can't remember, we have to read it from this piece of paper right here. So here we go. Buffalo Air Station Extreme AC750 Gigabit Dual Band DDWRT WZR750 DHPD Router. There you go. Now naming it that way is very much like calling me Dong, the very cool, intelligent, funny man who is six feet tall and happens to be Asian Ngo. Well, that's actually better and familiar. Well, the real reason why it's special here is because this is the very first router that run DDWRT firmware I will review. So what is DDWRT? That is a well-known third-party open source firmware for routers and access point. Now using that firmware on a router is very much like running a Linux operating system on your computer instead of Windows or Mac OS. And generally you have to hack your hardware to install it. With this one here, it comes included as a default factory firmware. Now, in my opinion, DDWRT is by far the most advanced firmware that can really bring out the best of the hardware. It also offers the most feature and the most in-depth customization. In fact, there's so much this firmware can offer that even I might not know them all and I definitely do not have time to try them all. So let's just look at a few examples here. Well, first this one is true dual band router, so it comes with two Wi-Fi network, one for each band. But for each band, it can offer more than a dozen of extra network called virtual interfaces or virtual access point. No stock firmware can do that. You can even host a very advanced hotspot for your home or your restaurant or your hotel or your neighborhood. You know that simple guest networking I'm talking about here. There's a few options for you to manage your hotspot professionally, such as giving the user the option to log in or even pay for your service. You can even make your internet ad-free by making the router block online commercials. Or you can turn the router into a very powerful VPN server or VPN client. And of course, there are many other features, both for home and business. And with this one here, you have a more in-depth access to their settings and configurations. Now, in short, if you are a savvy user who wants to have a total control of your home or business network, DDWRT is the way to go. But what if you're just a regular home user? Well, you can use this Buffalo here too. It comes pre-configured with two Wi-Fi networks with the information printed on the underside. And using that, you can just use it right out the box by plugging the router into the power and connect its one port here to the broadband modem. Now, if you want to do more, there is a secret label right here that shows you how to access the router's web interface. The router comes with one WAN port and four LAN ports, all of them are gigabit. You also have a one USB 3.0 port and one USB 2.0 port to host printers or storage devices. It's designed to stay vertical like this, but you can move its detachable stand around to make it stay flat this way. In my testing, this one here proved to be a solid performer especially on the 5 GHz frequency band. It also has very stable Wi-Fi signal. The range though is not the best I've ever seen, but likely because it doesn't come with external antennas. But with the current cost of $150 or less, it's still a great deal, especially considering it comes with a three-year warranty. Now for more on this Buffalo here, check out my full review .com. Oh, by the way, the long name of myself earlier is actually my full name. I cut it down to two words because, well, I'm modest. And also according to my date, it's sexier that way. And that's because I'm Dong Ngo, and this has been the first look as a new router from Buffalo. I'm not gonna say his full name again.